One of Shortcard's standout features is that it gives you the ability to have seven different ways that you price your product and individual products can have multiple prices for them. It's very unique. Let me show you how this works. So here is a product I've created called My Fancy Product. And when you scroll down, right here is the pricing area for your product. And what is very unique is you can have more than one price. But let me show you these seven different ways that you can price your products. So the first and most obvious one is to have a one-time price. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. And it's basically entering in your price. Boom, you're done. There's some additional options here, obviously, for other admin areas. So the next one is creating a subscription. So I'll click right here where it says add another price. And for a payment type, this time, instead of one time, I'm going to choose subscription. And subscriptions have a price and a term. So the term could be weekly, monthly, or whatever interval of time that you want. So for this, let's charge $9.99. And let's do this every month. And here is the option to choose between day, week, month, or year. So if you wanted this to be bi-weekly, it's very simple. You would choose week. And then you would repeat the payment every two weeks just like this. But I'm going to go ahead and do monthly. It's very common to have a monthly subscription. And once you've configured it, you can click on create price. Now, it's very common and practical to have a monthly subscription as well as an annual subscription. So you can easily add multiple subscription terms to the single product, which is very convenient. Now, the next way that you could price your products happens to be my favorite, and that is having an installment plan. So this is where you might have a high ticket item and you want to make it more affordable to your customers. So you split it up into installments. And basically, it's kind of like a subscription, but there's an end date when the buyer stops paying for it. So I'm going to click right here where it says add another price. And in the drop down, this time I'm going to choose the option here that says installment. And for this, I'm going to charge $99 every month. And right here, you could choose how many installment payments the buyer will have to pay. So I'm going to try maybe make this 10 installment payments. And we have some additional options here for you that you can add to this installment plan. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on create price. Installments is a great tool of making your products more accessible to buyers that might not have the budget to make the entire payment up front. And you can also charge a little bit higher of a total amount. So if the product's $1,000, you can make it so the payments add up to be $1,100 because you're carrying the financing. Now, the next option is to have a subscription, but with a free trial. And this would be where the buyer can have this free period of time that you set. And then the subscription will start to kick in after that period of time that you've set. I'm going to click right here to add another price. I'm going to choose a subscription. And let's add that $9.99 per month. But for this, I'm going to toggle this option here that says free trial. I'll toggle that on. And then you can set how long the free trial is. So let's make this seven days. I'll click on create price. And you can see now I have a subscription with a free trial. And you can see as we're adding these different pricing options, there's these badges to make it very easy to know what they are without having to open them up. Now, the obvious next one is to have a paid trial. So this would be maybe a $1 trial and then the subscription will kick in. So I'm going to go and add another price. This time, I'm also going to choose a subscription. And for this, let's uh, make it a little different. Let's make this a $99 subscription per year. Next, we're going to go where it says setup fee, and this is going to be the cost of the trial. So let's toggle this on, and I'm going to call this $1 trial, and I am going to make this charge a dollar. And then what we need to do is toggle on trial right here, 
and let's give this a seven day trial. So then there's this option that appears here that says charge setup fee during free trial. There we go. So we have to have these three toggles on. And so basically this is saying that we're going to charge a dollar immediately, but the subscription, we're not going to charge till after seven days. And then there's this last option that says, are we going to charge the fee before the seven days? And with these on, you can click on create price. And now you've created a subscription with a paid trial. Now, the next option is to have a product that you sell that also comes with a setup fee. And this is typically when there's a lot of heavy lifting that you have to do in the beginning of maybe selling a service and you want to capture some of the revenue, you want to front load it and collect it earlier in a setup fee. A perfect example of this, a lot of Surecart users sell uh, web agency services. So you'll have a setup fee and maybe a subscription or an installment plan to go with it to sell the package or product to your buyer. This is very easy. I'll click on add another price. This time let's do an installment plan. So say I'm selling a website and this website is $3,000 and I wanna collect a good portion of that upfront. So what I want to do is have a $200 per month fee, and I want to do that for 10 months. So that's going to be $2,000 of the 3,000, but I want to also add this setup fee and I'll charge a thousand dollars upfront. So what will happen in this transaction is the buyer's going to pay immediately the thousand dollars setup fee plus the first payment of the installment for a total of twelve hundred dollars and then each month they'll be charged an additional two hundred dollars until they're done paying this off so again i'll set a name for the setup fee i'll just name it the obvious name and then i'll click on create price and you can see right here it's a payment plan with a setup fee another way you could price your products is with a setup discount you can kind of already accomplish this with the coupon function inside of Surecard, but this is a lot cleaner and a lot easier for the buyer is to have a setup discount we use this ourselves on our software products that we sell where we might have a black friday sale and instead of giving you a coupon we'll just add a discount but it's going to go ahead and renew new at the normal rate. So let's set one of these up. I'll click here where it says add another price. This time we're going to do an annual subscription and that subscription is say $249 per year. And I'm going to add a setup discount. So I'll toggle on setup fee or discount. And here I'm going to take $124 off. And you see there's an option here that says fee, but we can change this to discount. And then I can put a name for it. I put Black Friday Cyber Monday promotion and click on create price. And there you have it, these seven different ways that you can price your products all simultaneously. Now, obviously you, you don't wanna have seven ways like this together. You wanna do it in a logical manner, but let me show you how this looks for the buyer. So I can go here, and I'm going to show you the instant checkout page, which is going to have this price selector. And what's important to note is that uh, how the pricing details are displayed. So this part right here on the left, I actually could have customized it. You see how it just says the product name? Well, I could have added a custom name for each of these prices. So if you notice when I was creating them, there's this option here to give it a name. So you'd want to give it a name so it looks great on the front end. So for example, I just put the name in one time purchase right here. I'll click on save product. And now let's go ahead and refresh this. And you're going to see the name has changed right here. Now it says one time purchase. So this is how you're going to be able to put in details on this different pricing plan. So over here on the right, the a lot of thought and effort went into how to display the pricing details when there's all these options. So one-time price is just gonna show the price. A subscription is gonna show the price and the term, in this case, month. An installment plan is gonna show the cost per month 
the term, is it every month, is it every bi-weekly or whatever, and how many of those payments. And right here you see the display of the free trial. So it's $9.99 a month starting in seven days, how we configured it. Here's the dollar trial. It says $99 a year starting in seven days, $1 trial. I probably shouldn't have put $1 in there in the name of the setup fee. I probably should have, um, or I should, I should have probably named it a little different. That's why you see a dollar a dollar. Then right here was the installment plan with the setup fee. So you could see $200 a month for 10 months and the $1,000 setup fee. Lastly, here is the setup discount. You can see the cost per year, but the, the setup discount that is going to be applied right now. And then your buyer simply just needs to choose the option that they're interested in and complete their purchase. It's because of features like these that shirt cart merchants end up generating more revenue from their online store. If you wanna move faster, operate better, and have the highest converting e-commerce platform for your WordPress website, try Surecart today.